I cannot and stand at the hands, Tanya mainly, TKO. Mainly at the I want you to hear this of, bullshit. Of black men. I want 20, you to hear this. What was it? 2016, the data came out that it was every 19 hours. And of those 19 hours, every 21 hours, her slaying was at the hands of a black man. So now that the numbers have jumped up to every six to five and a half hours, the greatest portion of those M words are at the hands of black men. Right. But in 2022, right. they're not getting killed by white men at all. You stupid come bitch. Five part docu series, a documentary highlighting all of the ways that black men are. are are, are, are done wrong by the police not to mention that when they do these songs and these and these videos and these tributes they show all of the black men they don't show the black girls who are laying in their bed when bullets start flying through or the black women who get m-worded by the police even as their boyfriends are there having a shootout with them but their body is the one riddled with bullets they don't talk about the black women who are on the sides of the road choked up the grandmothers toppled and, and head this bitch, ner yo, this bitch seriously had the nerve to talk about Breonna Taylor without even talking about her. When her boyfriend got into that shootout with the police because he was protecting his fucking home and his woman from the police. That fucking killed her by breaking in like a bunch of goddamn thieves. Bitch, you stupid. You a stupid bitch. We are continuing to highlight the largest face of the movement of, of, of poor treatment to black people in this country. Black men are the face of it. Wow. And have been the face of wow, it. Wow, this bitch well, really fixing her stink ass lips to say that. thrust upon us is largely ignored. I'm gonna show you some clips and videos from PBS. And I want you to tell me what's oh, the my difference fucking that you God. see between the people wow. speaking when I When I say I came to YouTube and, and I seen and heard delusion for the first people. time from my own community, especially from Why the men, and now especially more from the women's side now, I ain't fucking lied to you about son. it. Now, YouTube, I want you to know this is this woman's words, and I'm commenting, making my little commentary on her words, but this is her words. So she's using these words. It's not mine. All right, let's get to this. Black male bashing. Punk, the fuck is wrong with you? This is why society thinks of you as so fucking weak. Ooh, because she's so tough. Because the moment anybody says anything that is less, any moment less than gargling on your nutsacks through and through to perpetuity, to the end of time, then all of a sudden you're talking about how people hate you. You've got to love yourself and stop this bullshit. Stop it. You can do a lot better. You've got to love yourself and stop this bullshit. Stop it. You can do a lot better. And people telling you that you can do better is not male bashing. Especially if you feel that you're the type of man that those, that those, that those words refer to. Do better. You cannot say that you are perpetually a victim. Everybody else in society is rising up except for you. This is a joke. You would do better to listen to women and what women want because women will get you on target on what is going to make the community better. <laughs> women are going to make men make the community better. Now, I'm not... I'm not a basher. I don't bash black women. I, I don't like swirlers and divesters. You know this already. But women are really going to make men made the community better when women have this standard of holding whores, sluts, and thoughts to a higher standard? Really? I don't think so. I don't think so. Everything she just said is a contradiction because when black men come on videos and they talk about what black women are doing that's wrong, they play the victim, okay? Now, I will hear black men from time to time say, oh, these women are talking badly about us and they, they expect us to, you know, protect them. It's not going to happen. But most of the time, black females are out there playing the victim. OK. The common sense minded black woman does not play the victim. She understands that if she has men in her life that are actually real men and not losers, that they're going to be there for her when the time is right and when the time isn't right. But if you messing around with men that ain't worth a damn, then you expect that you shouldn't get worth the damn treatment. Seriously. Playing the victim. And this woman wants to fix her lips to act like she's some tough guy saying some real tough shit. 
Women like her and others on this platform have a problem with Tina Knowles, who's Beyonce's mom, who put out this documentary to show that there are good black men out there. Because as far as Tanya TKO is concerned, as far as Cynthia G, as far as all these other old bags who ain't got no man, and you can see why with the attitude and the looks that they got. Yeah, I goddamn said it. They got this thing in their head that all black men ain't shit. They don't believe that there's any black men out there that are good. They don't even believe in good black male children. They don't even believe in the children who are black males. So why would they believe in black men? And the thing that kills me is the fact that people like this dumbass right here gets paid. She gets paid by other dumbasses that listen to her. And of course... I'm bullying you, right? No, I'm not. Remember, black men are playing the victim, right? So if you say that I'm bullying you, then you're playing the victim. Words must really cut deep if it's that bad out here. That people start flagging videos, start talking all this mess out their mouths. This energy that most of these females have on these videos, they would not have this energy in real life. I can guarantee you. The same energy that I have in these videos... It's the same energy I have in person. I ain't scared of no motherfucker out here. And I've said shit to people's face. I say it on this camera as well. I've been in front of the camera too. People have seen my face. They know how I look. They know where to find me. But this is just bullshit. This is pathetic. And the fact that you got black women that are actually getting mad at the fact that Tina Knowles is showing black men in a more positive light is absolutely fucking pathetic. The fact that you don't want to see black men portrayed in a positive light because you believe all of them are bad is already a problem in and of itself. But it's not a black man's problem. It's your problem. Because you'll look at all the bad black men out there that are committing crimes, that are rapists, that are all these bad stereotypes, the ones that are actually living those stereotypes to a T. Okay? You'll look at them and surpass the ones that are actually doing the right fucking thing, actually going to school, have a job, doing the right thing as a man. Okay? Not doing the stupid things that you're talking about. But you don't look at those. You look at the negatives. And those negatives do not outweigh the positives. No, they don't. They don't. Many black men out there have been making inventions out there. Many black men have been doing their own businesses out there. Many black men out there have been protecting their families out there. And the fact that women like this want to fix their goddamn gums. Okay? To talk badly about black men. When you want white men to protect you and they don't, don't come crawling back to black men and asking for their protection. Because remember, you said from the start that black men are your biggest danger. They're the biggest threat to you. you you're, these women out here, man, they're talking like white supremacists, man. And it's a damn shame we got some black men are talking like that, too. But I'm talking about the women right now. Women like her, other women on this platform, they talk like white supremacists, man. They got a hatred for black men, calling them knackers and all kinds of stereotypes negatively. And they don't want black men to be calling them certain kind of names. But it's okay for you to do that to black men. What I'm saying is, none of us on either side should be doing it. But these females got a platform, they got a voice, and... The dumbass people who listen to them are going to pay them money to keep on saying stupid shit out of their mouths. Because as I told you before, when you listen to somebody that's dumb, you're not going to gain knowledge. You're just going to be just as dumb, if not more dumb, than the motherfuckers you listen to in the start. From the start, excuse me. It's just pathetic. It is pathetic. People like this will never think that black men can amount to anything, that black men can ever do anything positive because they have a negative mindset about us from the start. If something happens to this shit, God forbid I'm not saying I wanted to. Ain't no black man to help me. Ain't no white man gonna help you. I can promise you that. I'm out. <laughs>